Hi, I'm Becky and welcome back to my channel, Becky's Allotment. Today I'm going to show you how to grow chilies and bell peppers. And we're starting them off early because they take a long time to grow and they need the sun and the heat. So keep watching and we'll get started. Alright, to start sowing your chilies or bell peppers, you'll need some seed sowing compost. I wouldn't use anything else. Then some vermiculite. You can get this from Poundland for a pound a bag. Or oh, you could last year when I bought them. So let me just put you down here. The next thing you'll need is those plant labels, a waterproof pen, your chilli seeds and your sweet pepper or bell pepper seeds. Some of these cheap eggs, I think they put sandwiches in. Some pots or you can have larger pots like this or like this just make sure they've all got holes in the bottom or you can start them off in cell trays like this those need a clean but you get the idea or trays like now, when you're sewing stuff in pots with holes in the bottom, obviously you'll need some sort of tray underneath without um, holes in to water them. So I tend to use old baking trays or you can buy cheap enough seed trays with the matting in to um, water them um, and optionally you can use gloves or if you don't want to you don't have to and to secure the paper a uh, plastic bag I'm using these old hair ties because they're too thin you can use elastic bands or anything or you can just secure them underneath so I will show you now how to sew your chilli or bell pepper seeds. The other thing I forgot to mention which is absolutely essential is water. So you will also need some water and I use warm water for the seeds just because if you use cold they're going to take longer to germinate. You want to keep them as warm as possible because chilies need and bell peppers need warmth to germinate so that's why I'm using warm water in this spray bottle and I'll show you how I use that later. What I'm going to be doing here is I've got some um, seed sowing compost here. I'm going to be adding some vermiculite and mixing it in this tray. I'm not actually going to be growing the chilies in this tray. I'm going to be filling these little pots with the soil and growing them on in the little pots. So let's start off with adding some vermiculite. Now you can use gloves or not, it's totally up to you. So I don't want too much, just want a handful. This is really, really fine vermiculite and I'm going to put gloves on for this because it really gets under your nails. So these are just some cheap gardening gloves and I'm just going to mix that in. Now 
Now the vermiculite just loosens up the soil a bit and it vermiculite because um, it retains water. So once you got the seedling in and you're watering it, this soil is quite loose so it will dry out very quickly. Whereas with a bit of vermiculite in, it'll add that little bit of extra water. I'm just gonna add a uh, I've added a little bit more because there didn't seem to be much and I'm just going to give that a quick mix and that's it, that's ready. Now if I was going to fill the tray I would add some more compost, some more vermiculite until it was at the top of this bit there but I don't need to so I'm just going to fill the pot not to the very top. Squash that down a little bit. I might add a little bit more because these seeds are very small, which I'll show you now. There's a bit of a lump there. Don't want that. Right, so let's start off with some chili seeds. I'm going to start with these basket of fire chilies. Um, these are an F1 hybrid and uh, they're to be sown between February and April so I'm going to start these off in the house in February which it is now and it gives you some growing instructions there so you get six seeds F1 varieties tend to be a bit more expensive just because they're um, not modified but they're bred to do really well and to be disease resistant. Right, so let's see how many seeds we've got. As you can see they're quite small. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, That's pretty good. I'm sure it said you only had six. Well, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to put two per pot. So there's one there. And another one there. And these are a small chili pepper. And they will bit easily in a little basket and they grow those multicoloured hot chilies. Um, I am growing some others but I'm just going to show you with these ones so there we go. I'm just going to add some vermiculite on top. Now you could add a little bit more soil or you can add, add vermiculite as well. It's up to you. I just want to cover them. So they still get some light. So there we go. That's those done. I'm just going to write what they are on here. Just so I know what type of chili I've got and its needs. So this one won't need steak in, shouldn't need a big pot eventually and um, I can make sure it's in a basket or a, a pot suitable for its size. So I'm just going to write the date on the back here of when I've sewed it which is day's date. Really hard to write on camera. There we go. Pop that in there. And using my 
warm water. Just gonna give that a gentle spray. Don't spray it all the way down. Just gently, otherwise, as you can see, the vermiculite's going all over the place a bit there. But the seeds are fine. I'm going to place these in a tray with water in the tray. But I just wanted to make sure the top was damp. And that's warm water, as I said earlier. So that's the basket of fire done. And we'll sew the rest. Now let's move on to the sweet peppers. So these are the bell shaped peppers. Just going to fill this pot here. So these are pretty much like the others, same shape. These ones may be a tiny, tiny bit larger. And these also take a long time to grow. So that's what these Californian Wonder Peppers look like. These ones are from Seed Parade. I think they were 99 pence for quite a few seeds. So I'm going to place two in there. What I'll do is I'll either transplant one if they're both really good or only grow on the healthier plant. So I'll just pop these back in the bag. I won't plant them all on camera because that would be really boring. So, make a light on top. There we go. Don't forget to label them. So these are bell peppers. And the date is there we go. We've got the label for those. And again, this is warm water. It's quite warm, not boiling, but not cold. And this will just give them the heat or keep the heat in to germinate them. There we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a bag. So we're not going to use a heated propagator for these. And I'm just going to pop these in the bag. And I'm going to put them in this way. Or you can tie it, it's up to you. And then to allow water and drainage, I'm just going to cut a little hole in the bottom and pop these in a tray. Well, you can do it another way, which is get the bag for the chili. This is just a cheap bag. You can put them in this way. Leave the hole at the bottom. Use a stick or a pen to keep the bag up. Where's my band? 
and then you just put the band around the bottom. Well, I don't know why I like doing it the other way. Just because it feels more secure. And there you go. And that's how you grow the pepper seeds on and the chilies. I'll quickly show you ones that I prepared earlier. So I grew these two chilies in January. It's a bit of watering though. Now these are the seed leaves. These have grown a bit tall because they're um, they're not under a light. They're literally by the window, keeping them as warm as I can. And they're not too tall. This one's doing better than that one. Maybe this one gets more light, I don't know. But that is my chilies. So once they're germinated in these little pots, and they're as tall as the others, they will go in a bigger pot. But they will need to have leaves on to move them. Well, I'll show you transplanting another time. But that is it, so have a go at growing your own chilies. Because they're very useful in the kitchen. And I'll show you what I meant by watering from underneath. So I've put all the pots in a tray. This is an old baking tray with um, no holes in the bottom. The pots have got holes in, the bags have got holes in, but the tray doesn't. So I'm just going to use this warm water, still warm. I'm just going to pour water into the tray. And the plants will take up as much as they need. Uh, the soil will take up, sorry, as much as they need, it needs. So I'll leave those in there for a good half hour, hour, and I'll empty that water out and leave them. Now you will notice that the bags get condensation in over the next couple of days, and you just want to keep an eye on when the actual plants start to germinate. So when you can actually see the plant coming out, take the bags off and let them get some air. Otherwise they're just going to go mouldy and they're going to die. So that's pretty much it to grow in chilies and bell peppers. Thanks for watching, liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye!